Well, here we go. Oh, Castlevania, Simon Belmont, please. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, come on. Wait. No, this, this is it. This is Simon Belmont. I don't want him forever. Please. This. Oh. Oh. It's Simon Belmont. There's the deuce of that right there. Woo. Oh. I can't. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Finally! Oh snap! He's gonna have to vacuum up his own ghost. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! He was my boat in the Smash Ballot. Oh. Oh, I love the music. What? What Final Smash was that? I didn't see this coming. I didn't think we were gonna get a, an echo. Wait, you see an echo? Yes! Oh! Oh my gosh! Thank you. That is the one I wanted. Oh, oh my gosh. I, I need this game. I need it. I wanted him in Smash 4. Konnichiwa. Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. This is a follow-up to our recent announcements about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Without further ado... The legendary vampire hunter from the Castlevania series, Simon Belmont, is finally joining the roster. He's been given a bit of a makeover. His signature item is, of course, his holy whip, the far-flinging vampire killer. It leaves you open to attack, and it's a bit slow, but I think its average reach during normal attacks is longer than any other fighters. Oh man, that's gonna be crazy, Ariel. He can move the whip freely. Oh, just like Sheik. His special attacks are very recognizable. The axe. <laughs> Cross. Holy water and upper. While they may seem simple, they are very powerful. And his final smash is called Grand Cross. It's so beautiful. Simon's stage is none other than Dracula's Castle. It's the darkest of stages oh, okay. in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh, I hope they have a really of Wild hits Child. one of the candlesticks, an item will appear. Oh, oh, sweet, that's cool. In this stage, bosses from across the Castlevania series will rear their ugly heads. They make Dracula's castle feel true to the world from whence they came. Yeah, baby! And, when speaking of Castlevania, you can't forget to mention the music. For this Where stage, we will incorporate 34 music tracks, including new and classic tunes. 
The Castlevania series is very popular among our music team, okay, and they I were didn't... excited to work on these I'm arrangements. I'm going to have to rewind it because I don't know if I saw it, but I hope Once well in a blue moon, Simon's immortal rival will appear. Dracula. Reborn every 100 years, he is eternally fated to wage war against descendants of the Valmont <laughs> clan. Under what conditions will he appear? Time will tell. Is this like... Now, for a brand new assist trophy. Oh, whoa. Alucard, son of Dracula, will land in steel in battle. He wields the chrysogram, transforms into a bat, and dodges attacks by assuming mist form. He's very similar to his starring role in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Like other assist trophies, he's susceptible to attack and KO as well. Nevertheless, he'll prove to be quite challenging. And we have one more fighter for you. The vampire hunter who starred in classics like Castlevania Rondo of Blood, Richter Belmont, joins the battle. Yeah, is he... Richter yep. is an echo fighter based on Simon. That's fine. Though his strength is the same, ah. his look, voice, and He's animations tall. all I'm set so him apart. I'm so happy we got Simon. Besides, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate version of Simon can perform moves derived from Richter in his original games, so it's hard to say who's really echoing who. Uh. I hope you'll enjoy them both. Heck. Farewell! Oh my gosh. I'd like to introduce two more Echo Fighters from completely different series while we're on the topic. Oh snap. Please take a look. Are we gonna get Shadow? Maybe? Oh, okay. I, I'm not huge into the Fire Emblem series, but I know this is. Yep. <laughs> I, I wonder if he was like cut at the last minute. Uh, so Smash Four. That's why they made it. So basically, pointed out said, you know, not this time. Dark Samus joined the battle. You may have seen this coming. Both fighters have been highly requested. Yeah. They're each slightly different than the fighters they're based on, so pick whoever you enjoy most. I thought Dark Samus might be a character, I just didn't As think As you can we see, would get a depending on your soon. settings, you can either display all Echo fighters separately on the fighter select screen or stack them with the fighters they're oh, okay. based on. When stacked, you can switch between them with the press of a button. This time, we plan to reveal the design of every fighter before the game launches. We'll have a few more to announce later, so stay tuned. Oh man. For stages, we're yes. mainly including returning favorites. Shadow Moses! Yes. Allow me to introduce some of the stages we haven't shown before.
I'm so glad they're bringing Brawl's uh, Wario State back. I can't remember the name of it. Honestly, traveling stages are a little disorienting sometimes, but... It would have been weird if she was a character. We put a lot of effort into enhancing the look of the stages and rebalancing them as well. Huh. That said, for stages that originally yes. appeared in the Nintendo 64 game, we prioritized nostalgia, intentionally keeping the classic look. Huh. The stage total is turning out to be pretty impressive. Let's compare it to the totals in previous games. Now Whoa. the total number of stages is Whoa. One, 103. <laughs> you must be crazy. Man. If we exclude Battlefield, Final Destination, and Big Battlefield, we'd have exactly 100. But take a look at the stage select screen. Every stage can also be transformed into both Battlefield and Omega form, so the total number of stages is actually more than 300. All of these stages can be played in 8 player battles, and they are all available from the beginning. Oh, sweet! Additionally, you have the option to turn off stage hazards. When you're looking for a change of pace and don't want to be interrupted by hazards, select this option for a less chaotic experience. Oh, okay, that's cool. Also, the order of the stages matches the order in which they were introduced in the series, just like the fighters. If you turn off stage hazards, I wonder if that would make a lot more... Regarding stages, we have a little surprise. Legal. Please take a look. Oh! Check that out. What? While playing, the stage can transform around. Oh my gosh! I had that idea in but Smash first, 4. You must select the stage morph option. Oh my gosh. Then that you can pick two idea. stages on the stage select menu. I'm, I'm sure other people have to too, choose but any stages I remember you like. specifically thinking that would be so cool if the stages could change. That's, that's incredible. But I didn't think they'd actually ever do it. I never really said anything. I think I said that to my siblings a couple times, but for the player never who wants it all, my music lets you select specific tracks for each stage, and this feature is making a return. Until now, each stage had its own set of music tracks, but this time the tracks are organized by series instead. For example, as long as you're oh, playing cool. on a stage based on the Legend of Zelda series you can pick any of the tracks included from that series. Nice. Now for the total number of music tracks from stages. <laughs> this is also ultimate. Dude. What? Oh, wow. oh my God! More than 800 tracks. <laughs> and if we count other types of music, like That'll menus and fanfare, then there's actually about 900 compositions. If you played them all in a row, without looping or stopping, there's more than 28 hours worth of music. Wow, that's incredible. These game franchises it's are ultimate. a big part of video game history, and the result is a massive library of memorable music. All of this packed into one game. This, in itself, is extraordinary. Of course, there's a sound test menu as well. For your browsing pleasure, we've sorted all of the tracks by game series. Hmm. It's like having an album for each series. If a track has no corresponding fighter or stage, or if it's from one title rather than a series, it can be found in the other section. Oh, I, love that. I love that song. You can create your own playlists too. Sort them in any order you like, anytime, as much as you oh, want. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> she does it so slowly. 
In handheld mode, you can play music while the screen is turned off. It's kinda like using your Nintendo Switch as a music player. Uh. A huge variety of music has been collected for the game, and you can sample some of these tracks on the official website. Huh. We're planning to add selections basically every week, so please stay tuned. Some of you may have experienced the game already, but I'd still like to show you some things about the multiplayer battle rules. Now the first thing you will select is the rules. If you create your own rule set, you can immediately begin playing with those rules at any time. In addition to time battle and stock battle, stamina battle is now treated as one of the standard smash modes. There's a different feeling of intensity in these battles. This time, stage selection comes before fighter selection. This way, you can pick a fighter based on how well suited they are for the stage. Or let the last battle's loser pick the next stage to even the odds. Okay. In Sudden Death, you not only start with 300% damage, but the camera will steadily zoom in. Oh, man. This creates a nice sense of urgency. Do the bombs still drop though? Chargeable final smashes are now a selectable option. Oh snap! During a match, your final smash meter will fill, and then, once it's maxed out, you can use a weaker final smash. Okay, that's pretty cool. When you apply this option to a match, things can get really flashy. If you're up for a party, please try it out. Yeah, kind of By the way, you, um, no two final smashes will happen simultaneously. Oh, sweet! Multiple final smashes at the same time. That's cool. There are other additions to the battle modes, too. Come on, smash run. Squad strike. We've added in squad strike. Oh! It's a five-on-five five or three-on-three three elimination I knew it. I battle battle it. to decide the I'm winner. I'm sure everybody else did Each too, player but will use yes. five consecutive I'm fighters right. in one battle, but it might be fun for multiple players to take turns as well. Or wait a minute, maybe that wasn't. Maybe that wasn't. We're it. also including tourney mode. Choose the number of players and CPU participants, and the game will automatically structure a tournament bracket. Up to 32 players can join the tournament, so it's great for parties too. Somebody's name was Santa. We're adding a special smash mode called Smashdown. After a battle in this mode, the previously selected fighters will no longer be available I knew to it. use in the next That's battle. the one so I was thinking. So each player of. must select a different fighter. It definitely pays off to be skilled with multiple fighters. You could also strategically pick a fighter your opponent is good with before they can. I think. I, this sounds pretty close to what I was thinking. The new training mode will feature an exclusive stage. We've displayed a grid so it's easy to measure distance and huh. more. You can also display launch distance. Oh, that's cool. The red line predicts your trajectory at 0% damage, and the blue line is for 100% damage. The fighter's weight is factored in at the moment of impact. Huh. The single player mode in which players battle against a series of fighters will return in the form of classic mode. That's good. I, th this, Each this fighter classic has a set series of stages and opponents they will face. Now, let me introduce you to some new items, Pokemon, and assist trophies. Please do! What? What? Much like uh, having the lava and smash for it, just global. Huh. Oh, oh, I'd hate that. 
bad. Crystal as a character, but that's yeah, better than nothing. sense for Shovel Knight to be an actual character of the moon. What? What? <laughs> that was, that's the best one ever. All of them can be considered my, my special be guests. Sad about and Shovel another really powerful one has character. just arrived. From the Monster Hunter series, oh. Rathalos swoops in. Okay. I've only played one Monster Hunter before. He appears as a Not boss. Too familiar with it. Now, what, okay, what says he appears as a boss? But he can also show up as an assist trophy. Is the boss like in a new mode? Actually, or he's the first or? character to appear as both. Just shows up. Before we go, I'd like us to take a quick look at the main menu. As you can see, there's a mysterious mode here, but we can't talk about that just yet. Oh, I was gonna say. Also, there's out. a dashboard on the right side of the screen. This can be accessed at any time by pressing the ZR button. Options and control descriptions are listed here as well. That's all for today's announcement. The entire development team is putting all of their energy into finishing the game, so please be patient until launch day. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for watching. Uh huh. What is it? What is it? King K rule. It's King K rule. Yep. Yeah, baby! Woo! 
Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Oh. The troll. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, they just had to troll us like that. Huge! Oh, what? His belly is a counter. I got most of my predictions right. Oh, okay. I thought there were a few gaps in there. That's amazing. All right. Can't wait.